All right, so let's talk about the vasculature of the brain. There are three, three main arteries we want to know about. First one is the anterior cerebral artery in yellow. It does the anterior part of the brain, but also medial part of the brain right here, the ACA. The second one is the middle cerebral artery. This one does the lateral surfaces of the brain. So this is right here, this is all lateral, okay? This is like temporal lobe stuff. Um, lateral sides of your um, frontal lobe. And then finally, we have the posterior cerebral artery, uh, okay? Which is right here in the blue. And this does the posterior as well as the inferior surface, also under the brain right here, will also be posterior cerebral artery. And especially here is the occipital lobe, um, which is our vision center. Okay. Now, the I, I want you to also understand something called watershed zones. That's the area right between where, like, the ends of each um, area of perfusion. If you understand that, there's like a big vessel here, right? And this is a very poor representation, but I think it gets the concept across. And it has all these little branches, okay? And they get smaller and smaller as they go farther and farther. So your big vessel, little branches. So then it is easy to understand that your blood perfusion is worst at these outer edges. These are the outskirts. These are the boonies of your blood perfusion in the brain. These get the, the dregs of all your blood. They get the worst, of, they get the least amount. So when you have some, maybe some event that causes a decrease of blood flow in your brain, guess what is the first part that's gonna get hit? It's these parts that I've outlined right here. These are the watershed zones, okay? Specifically, there's one. Let's clear all this. There is one watershed zone right here between the ACA, the anterior cerebral artery, and the MCA. And when this gets hit, when, um, when you get decreased perfusion here, you're going to present with upper and lower extremity weakness. Remember how uh, our motor cortex is here. I think it goes like right around here. And that the medial part, which is the, this is medial is ACA, remember, is the legs, and then the lateral part is the uh, face and upper arms. So watershed zone, um, basically if you get decrease of blood, you're gonna get upper and lower extremity weakness. The other region of interest is the region between the MCA and the PCA right here. And remember we, held, we said how the PCA had that occipital cortex right here with the occipital lobe with the visual cortex. So that's how you're going to present. This is going to not get enough blood because it's the, at the outskirts and you're going to get visual problems, okay? The other thing you might want, might want to know is how this is actually going to look on a cross section. Where will your ischemic infarct be? So this will be front, anterior, and this is posterior. Okay, so if you had to place it somewhere, I want you to just think about where would you place that infarct in the, between the ACA and the MCA. Well, remember that the ACA does the medial surfaces here. So it's going to go up all the way up to here immediately. And the MCA does the lateral, this is the MCA border. MCA does the border up here. So this is, so this is medial, okay. This is lateral. So that's going to be our border of infarct right there. That's going to be where you're going to see dead neurons. And this would be for the, um, the right side of the brain. Now for the MCA and the PCA, MCA ends right around here, okay? The lateral part of the brain finishes here. And then the PCA does the posterior and inferior surfaces. So right here is the area right between. So MCA is here. M that's MCA. ACA goes that way, and then PCA is this stuff, okay? So this is the second area of infarct, this is the other watershed zone. Just remember that you might be asked about that. Now we're gonna talk about the circle of Willis. This is again covering the MCA. You see the MCA right here? So this is the big one right here. This is the ACA, oh, I'm sorry, ACA is right here, going anteriorly. And then finally, this is our PCA right here. Okay, and this is the circle of Willis. This is located at the base of the brain. And this is very important because it is where all your blood vessels anastomose. And so you can preserve cerebral perfusion even if one of these is blocked because you have this all these anastomosis 
that will allow blood to get to the um, relevant parts of your brain. So we can see this uh, circle well is superimposed on the base of the brain here. And um, I just want to point out that the MC and the AC arise from the internal carotid artery, which for the big picture you can see is right here on the right, which is ascending up and will um, turn into your MCA and PCA. And notably, your, your PCA arises first from the first from the vertebral arteries bilaterally. So vertebral arteries that will merge into something called the basilar artery, okay, this big fat basilar artery. This basilar artery is located right around the surround, the brain stem, okay. Here's the brain stem with your midbrain pond, and this is pond, and this is the med medulla. Okay. So it's important to know all these important to know that there is an anterior communicating artery that connects our two anterior cerebral arteries right here and then there's a posterior communicating artery right here connecting our MCA and our PCA and I just want you to take note, you don't have to memorize this, but we'll see this later there's also an anterior inferior cerebellar artery and a posterior inferior cerebellar artery this is, so this one, this one's around the medulla, okay posterior inferior cerebellar artery around the medulla. As we can see here, here's the medulla that I'm drawing on the left. You can see the posterior inferior cerebellar artery. And the anterior inferior cerebellar artery is right around the pons, okay? So that will be relevant later. Okay.